Hi gang. Welcome back to Crazy Life Homestead. Come on, let's go. We have a thunderstorm in the area. So this might be a short vlog. We'll see. I am going to video very fast, feed horses, and then I have to fill the troughs up. I might just fill one up and call it good. As you can see, we've got some storms up in the area here. The wind is starting to pick up. The temperature is changing. The temperature is now about 85 degrees and hazy hot. We have Missy waiting on me. Come on, Mommy, let's go. Come on, Mommy. We have the other, other ones. One and two. She always does that. This is the game that she likes to play. Now, even the birds are waiting for their feed. That's funny. The birds are waiting on the rails. What are you doing, Missy? What you doing, Missy? You ready for something to eat? Okay, an update. There is none. The agent is still on vacation until Monday. This is Thursday. Have to wait. I have to be patient. Is she following me? I hope so. So I have to pull a hose. I hate pulling a hose. I have to pull a hose because the troughs are getting empty. I was going to pull one yesterday, but I was either pull a hose yesterday and be late or pull a hose today and possibly get rained on. You can see that nice little cloud up there. So, uh, it may rain, it may not. I'm not hearing any more thunder. So, yeah, I need to pull a hose. I need to definitely pull a hose. Which is good because they've been drinking the water. They even drank that one down. This is how hot it is. There's only two chickens out. It figures the day that I'm trying to get all this done, the hose is not wound correctly. There we go. So I brought my drill out. And I have a little drill bit brush that I put in here and I've cleaned this out. It's starting to get black again on that side over there. I'll have to do it again. But it pretty much cleaned the troughs. As you can see from the wall, it was producing some algae and stuff, but I got it off. And in this one I got, you can now see the cap where he sealed them. And get rid of Mr. Beetle. Bye bye. Now, these two right here, um, I have to fill them slightly because that's the only thing weighing them down. Otherwise, the wind will take them or the horses will kick them or something silly. Let me see if I can zoom in on for you. Oh, bug up the nose. All right, let's see if we can keep this steady. No. Okay, so Duke is on the right. As you can see his blaze on the face. He took Helvani's spot. He usually chases her off because he likes the omeline. But by the time I get and close that gate and walk away, the omeline she's eaten up. So she goes to his spot. I'm focused. 
So she goes to his spot. Leilani stays on her spot. So Haolani's getting probably enough until Leilani finishes, but I gave Leilani another scoop. So she'll probably stay put until they push her off, push Haolani off. Now Haolani's the old mare, so I like to make sure that she gets enough feed. And then of course, I've thrown the hay, as you can see, you get my finger out of there, it'll focus back up. The hay is thrown and uh, they're all good. Me, on the other hand, I'm melting. And these little flies are flying around my, I sprayed myself so they don't land. At least I hope they don't, but they do a good job. Bella? Come here, Bella. Come on. Now, Bella got a bath. She got her nails done. And if some of you have noticed, she is turning gray because all her winter hair was still on. She hadn't shed at all. So, she's turned gray. She still has her neck hair there, as you can see. But that's her color. That's her color right there. Come here. You want some water? So she looks good. She's losing a little weight, which is what I'd like to see. She doesn't need to be that big. Again, she's running around and she's doing what she's supposed to do, and she looks good. Bug is at home. We went for a walk before we left, and she's at home. You had enough, supervisor? Yeah, you good with the supervisor thing? Yeah, I'm enough. Me, on the other hand, I'm just sweating. It's enough to make me sweat. I'm, I'm sticky, sweat, yeah, yucky. So. I'll probably two, fill up the two big ones and then halfway fill up the little ones so we won't be here that long. The breeze is starting to pick up. The clouds are behind me. They might just walk right on by. Now, that's west. Of course, that's east. And behind me, in the southern region, it's all nice and blue. But. There's that cloud, and that is west. There's that lovely cloud. So, if it activates, then we'll have a little rain. But for now, it's not doing anything, so. Come here. She, yeah, she's uncomfortable. She's hot. Okay, Ooh. I don't know if you could see it or not, but I am very sweaty. Hose is put back up. 
two full troughs plus mm, just enough to keep them weighed down. They probably won't drink on those until Saturday, but I'll, I might just pull that hose one more time if it's not so hot. Um, we've been having on and off rain showers for the last few, about a week. And uh, the troughs are okay, but it, with this heat, it's so hot, so hot, that it'll make you melt. And then the rain starts, and then you have the humidity kick in, and it's hot. You got it? I did want to show you one thing. Like I said, I have my drill. And it's just a little Ryobi thing. It's a 12 volt. But I also have this. I put it down because it's easier to see. Basically what this is, is that it's, it's a brush. And I use my Ryobi to clean out the troughs. It also has it's a kit. It also has one that's a, a round. You can see the bit that grabs onto the drill. I have a big one. And I have a little one. You can see the difference between the two of them. Again, drill bit. It also has... Oh, did I lose that? I may have lost that. It may have come out of the box. There's an extension bar that comes with it. And it's about six to eight inches. So this is a pretty cool kit. Um, I have, I've been cleaning the tub with it. And I thought, you know what? I can just clean out the, the troughs with it just as easily. So I've been using that. Again, I'm melting. So I'm going to head home. You guys have a great night. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. And I'll catch you on the next one.